P. Diddy plans to donate one million dollars to his alma mater, Howard, and to Deion Sanders and the Jackson State football program. Wow, we're gonna talk about it. What that means after the bumpers. Stay tuned. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? My name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. here at the Black Boss Channel and Victory Formation. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload every single day. Now, P. Diddy, he got a Lifetime Achievement Award at the BET Awards uh, recently. And during his speech, he went on to say that he is donating $2 million to two different HBCUs. One million is going to Howard, his alma mater, the school he went to. I don't think he ever finished, but he went there. So his alma mater, he's an alum, to Howard. The other million dollars is going to Jackson State. And specifically, he shouted out Deion Sanders because he wants us to play for us. This was huge. Let me go ahead and share my screen. And let's let's just listen to Diddy. It's a quick little you know, 30 second little snippet and about what he had to say about donating and who he's donating to. And let's take a listen. I want to donate a million dollars to Howard University. Mm. Yeah. And also, also I'm going to drop another million dollars on Deion Sanders and Jackson State because we should play for us. So, yeah, that there, there's that. That's awesome. Uh, and, and this got me thinking, man. This got me thinking. One, shout out to Diddy because he didn't have to do that. Uh, he's rich. He has his money. And it's really nice that he gives back. But he didn't have to give back. There's there's plenty of cases where there's a lot of rich, wealthy black people. And they don't give a whole bunch of money to HBCUs and HBCUs that desperately need it. I, I think this is a big win for Coach Prime, obviously. Because to get a million dollars, even if it's not all the one. I think the whole one million should go to the football team. It's just me. But even if the whole one million doesn't go to just the football team. The fact that Jackson State as a university got the one million dollars because of of Deion Sanders is a win in the feather, another feather in the cap of Coach Prime, of Deion Sanders, of what the Tigers are doing down there at 1400 Lynch Street. And this is something, now someone brought this to my DM, shout out to you, you know who you are, brought it to my attention that <clears throat> with this gesture being brought on by P. Diddy, could, this, could we see a rise of wealthy celebrity boosters in the HBCU space? And you know, that would be something that'd be really cool. Uh, I'm not one to think that it'll happen simply because here's why, because it hasn't happened yet. And there's always been wealthy, rich black folks. That, that's always been the case. Now, obviously, they all haven't always been named P. Diddy or Jay-Z or whoever. But Oprah's been around for a long time. And, you know, people like, you know, even though, you, you, yeah, it's a crime to say it now, but Bill Cosby been giving money to HBCUs for 50 years, right? Like Bill Cosby was at the forefront of that and still no one really followed him up. There was no one. He's second to none when it comes to philanthropy towards HBCUs, whether we want to admit it or not. Now, whether you think Bill Cosby is a good person or not, that's something different. But Bill Cosby was one of the leading key cogs in giving money to historically black colleges and university universities so because diddy does this one time that is nice but will it spark a, a black celebrity boosterism right like will it spark that i don't know i don't think so uh, that there are plenty of hbcu alums who have went on to do well and there are plenty that are doing a great job. There are a lot of collectives that are taking place at different HBCUs to get student athletes in IL deals. There are a lot of <clears throat> we see, you know, big donations mainly to the same schools a lot of times. Howard gets a lot of donations, not just from black celebrities, but from celebrities in general. I think Jeff Bezos' ex-wife, Mackenzie Scott, gave Howard $15 million. Uh, Morehouse gets a lot of donations. A lot of different HBCUs get donations. Um and it, 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 a lot of times it's the same ones. It's Howard, it's Spellman, it's it, it, Morehouse. It's mainly those, right? It, it's not really a lot of diversity in the, a lot of those donations. So that is something that could change. You know, like, I mean, when do you hear about 
Fort Valley State getting donations, like big time donations. You don't hear that, but you hear about Howard all the time. Uh, when do you hear about Kentucky State in, in Frankfort, Kentucky getting a bunch of donations? You don't really hear that all the time, but you hear about Morehouse and Spellman all the time. So will it spark that? No. Uh, I So I, I don't want to say that because I just simply don't think it will. I could be totally wrong, but a, one, a million dollars is a lot of money. Like I'm not going to act like it's not. It's a whole lot of money. Uh, for someone to be donating to a school and a university. So I don't think that's, uh, I don't, and not to say that they shouldn't do it. I definitely think they should do it. Just do I think it'll happen? No. Sp going back to Coach Prime, if that one whole $1 million goes to his football program, which in itself, even if it all the one million, first, you know, did he get to cash a check? He, he got to send that check over. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to say it on a stage. It's another thing to actually provide it. Not saying that he's not good for it. We know he's good for it. But the check got to clear first. But when that check clears for both Howard and specifically for Jackson State and Coach Prime, this is something that he will continue to bring up. This is something that he will continue to use and leverage to benefit his program, not just monetarily, because the resources that a million dollars can do for a program like Jackson State is or, is beyond you know the way I can put it into words or perspective. But what it will do as far as him continuing to get good players, what it will do as far as he and the SWAC to continue to build up, what it will do for other teams, you know what I mean, in their recruiting efforts to beat Jackson State. You know what I mean? Like when fam was on the road and said, hey, Jackson State getting a million dollars from Diddy, we need you to come help us take them off the map. You know what I mean? To come help us dethrone them. What does down there fam you at Grambling at Alcorn, it did Mississippi Valley at the different schools, right? Gives the extra little chip on the shoulder of a kid playing at uh, Arkansas Pine Bluff, <clears throat> UAPB, or the young man playing at Grambling, or the young man playing at Prairie View, puts a little extra chip on their shoulder for in it works in a net positive to continue to help the conference. It'll definitely help Jackson State. Let's not get it twisted. It's going to help Coach Prime and his guys. But it'll also help the conference in the long run because the more competitive that the games are, the better of a player the teams get, whether it's via transfer portal or out of high school or grad transfer or whatever, that only helps the conference, which only helps all the institutions, the member institutions. This is big. What Diddy did and when that check clears for JSU – it's going to be big. When that check clears, continues to clear for Howard, it's going to be big, but specifically for Jackson State and their football program. And to point even more attention towards what Deion Sanders, what Coach Prime and his team is doing down there at JSU is huge. It's huge. I mean, it just is what it is. And we can't we can't act like it isn't a big deal. Uh, I, I'm happy for it. Will the, you know, black boosterism take place? I don't, I'm not sure about that. I would love for it to happen. But I'm not sure it will. But Coach Prime, JSU, and even Howard getting that money <clears throat> is going to help them in the long run, specifically help Jackson State and help the SWAC in the long run. Continues to put Jackson State, continues to put the SWAC at the forefront of a lot of major, major, major national publications, major in, in front of a lot of eyeballs, and getting the word Jackson State, getting the words HBCU football in the mouths of a lot of people that weren't talking about these type of things two, three years ago. Hell, maybe even a year ago. I love everything about it. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. P. Diddy pledges to give Jackson State in the football program and his friend, Coach Prime Deion Sanders, $1 million. Along with Howard. He's going to give Howard a million, too. But Howard gets money all the time. Going to give Jackson State football a million dollars. That is big. It's really big. A swag football program getting a million-dollar donation. I... I mean, I, it's really like that. It's that kind of big of a deal. It's going to make that much of an impact. It's going to make that much of a difference. And it's going to force the other schools. Hey, if y'all don't want to get lapped by Jackson State, look at all these resources they're getting. Let's open up those pocketbooks. Some of these famous Grambling alumni. Let's open up some of these pocketbooks. Some of these big money players in Texas. When it comes to Prayer Review with Texas Southern, let's open up these pocketbooks. Some of these well-known alumni and well-known people in the state of Florida for FAMU, for Bethune. Let's open up these pocketbooks for some of these schools in Alabama, A&M, Alabama State, these well-known alumni, these people with the money in Alabama. Hey, we can't let Jackson State lap us. We can't let, let them be the only team in the swag popping. 
we got to be popping too. And that is going to be a trickle down effect and, you know, make the cream rise to the top. I love everything about it. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Once again, my name is Jeff Lights Jr. with the Black Boss Channel of Victor Formation. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at JLightsy7. That is Instagram and Twitter at JLightsy7. Hit that thumbs up button on your way out and leave your comments. What do you think about P. Diddy's pledge of a million dollars to the Jackson State football program? I love everything about it. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.